All right, what is up, you guys? I'm here with the top 10 greatest WWE DVDs of all time. This was a long-awaited video, very requested, and if you want me to, I can do the top 10 worst. That's a little easier to do. But let me know down below what your list is. But before I get into this, I do want to name a few honorable mentions. For example, the um, Randy Orton documentary, Evolution of a Predator. Uh, you Think You Know Me, Edge. Breaking the Code, Chris Jericho. Three great documentaries. And I will not be including pay-per-views. But, you know, WrestleMania 19, WrestleMania 17, I think two that deserve to be on the list. Also, um, I'm not including box sets either, like the anthologies, because obviously they're amazing. But the Raw 20th Anniversary set, I do count that as a box set, but that definitely deserves a mention for sure. Alright, so, um, another honorable mention, one more, the Eddie Guerrero DVD. If I were to had to choose a number 11, it would be the Eddie Guerrero story, Cheating Death and Stealing Life. So if you want number 11, there it is, for sure. Alright, number 10. One of the few, kind of, this is the newest release on this one. The unreleased, never-before-seen matches, 1986 to 95, or 85 to 96, depending what side you're looking at. But, no, this is the misprinted one. But, you know, this one put together eight and a half hours worth of matches that have never before released, and a lot never before seen, on DVD at least, or even on the network. Um, a lot of this doesn't have commentary, but some of the, an example of stuff you're going to get on here, you know, Macho Man, Randy Savage versus Andre the Giant for the WWE title, it's that kind of stuff. This, to me, is gold. You need to go out and get this one immediately. You know, you have classic 80s and early 90s on this. You have Ultimate Warrior. Uh, there is some Hulk Hogan, just in case you were wondering. We have Hulk Hogan versus Earthquake. You know, you have Shawn Michaels, Andre the Giant, Undertaker. You can see on the front here. Um, Hulk Hogan's not on the artwork, but he is in this DVD. You know, Jake the Snake Roberts, Roddy Piper, two of my favorites of all time. That's another honorable mention, Jake the Snake Roberts DVD. See, it's, it's so hard to come up with this list because I don't want to leave anything out. Number nine, Born to Controversy, Roddy Piper Story. This one um, really hits home for me because he's um, one of my top five favorite wrestlers by far. You know, this gives you the perfect documentary on who he is and kind of cool artwork there. There is also a four disc version out there. This is only the three disc. But what this has, you can see here, it gives you the documentary on his life, the fights, and then the pit. So you get a lot of Piper's pit segments, a lot of great matches, and you do get the chapters of the documentary there. So, you know, you have a um, good amount of matches on here, and, you know, just great Piper's pit segments. So, definitely another highly recommended one. I love Roddy Piper, man. One of the best of all time. Alright, number eight. Hard Knocks, the Chris Benoit story. You know, this one is very obscure now, for obvious reasons. But, given the circumstances, you know, let's say they never happened, I think this would be recognized as one of the top ten. It's just a lot of people are afraid to put it on their list, and I'm not. I love Chris Benoit, and I think he's one of the greatest of all time. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, do I think he should be in the Hall of Fame? Yes. Do I think he will be? Probably not. No. Ever. But this one, you have a great documentary. This one's very similar to the Eddie Guerrero story, um, coincidentally. And you have alternate commentary on a lot of matches on here with Chris Benoit, uh, Dean Malenko. And you get a good number of matches. This is a two-disc set. So, you know, this is definitely deserving to be on this list. Like, you get all these matches, all these chapters... And, you know, it really gives you a look on the life and how dedicated he truly was 
wrestling was his only job. He never worked a single real job out there, which is very commendable. Um, you know, I keep thinking of honorable mentions. I do want to give two more, the Brian Pillman story and the Mr. Perfect story, two other great ones. All right, so number seven, the Randy Savage story, Macho Man. I do also have the box set, but this is just focusing on the DVD or Blu-ray. You know, this one was very long awaited. This is a three-disc set, and it gives you a look at the life of Randy Savage, who he was, um, his relationship with Miss Elizabeth, and, you know, it is a very, um, kind of a sad documentary. You know, it does have a happy ending, but it takes a while to get to that. But we have some great matches on here, uh, two discs worth of matches, and this is a seven-hour runtime for DVD at least. But um, a lot of uh, never-before-released matches, you know, not too, too many repeats, which is good. But disc one consists of the entire documentary, which does have a longer runtime, thankfully. But, you know, Randy Savage, I don't think, can be compared to any wrestler out there. That's why this documentary really needs to be seen, because he truly was an individual in this business. Number six, one of my personal favorites, the WWE's greatest rivalries, Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart. I also do have the Blu-ray edition, and the reason I have the Blu-ray edition is because this one includes the, of course, the Montreal Screwjob Survivor Series 97 match. So, that's why I got the Blu-ray as well. But, DVD-wise, you get um, a ton of matches between them. And you also have a nine hour runtime, which is good. But the main feature, I think, is just so entertaining. It's basically the closest they've ever come to having a shoot interview. Um, I love this interview. Basically, you have Jim Ross conducting an interview as a mediator with Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. That, to me, is like three of the greatest performers or personalities of all time right there. But you have really taking into the details, not really holding back very much about how they felt about each other in the 90s. And it does span their entire career, basically. You know, it does talk about their 2010 reconciliation, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, it, it really goes deep into the business. So I think this is something you really need to go out and get. It's probably my personal second favorite of all time when it comes to releases, but this is an unbiased list. So Next up, we have Brett the Hitman Heart, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And this one is signed, by the way. I do have two copies, one of them signed. This one is one of those releases that you never thought was going to happen. You know, you have nine-hour runtime. And uh, you just have seven hours of extras, 20 minutes of new Bret Hart interviews, and 18 complete matches, hand-chosen by the hitman himself. You know, this is just gold. You know, this was released to kind of coincide with his Hall of Fame induction. And you do get a really good documentary, not only getting into his life, but, you know, the Hart family. If you don't know much about uh, Stampede Wrestling or Stu Hart, his father, it gets into a lot. And it's a great documentary. And this is another one that really doesn't really hold back much. So you're really getting the true side of Bret Hart. Next up, I do have this one on Blu-ray and DVD as well. CM Punk, The Best in the World. I chose to show the Blu-ray version because uh, it has some great extras on it. But... This is probably my favorite documentary they've ever come up with. Not just because CM Punk's my favorite wrestler of all time. I mean, I do have a CM Punk tattoo, just in case you've never seen it. I don't know if I've ever shown it on the channel. I showed it during a live show. But um, that's kind of me showing you for the first time. So CM Punk obviously has a huge impact on my life as a wrestling fan. And it's also my channel logo, so. But this documentary, I think, really psychologically takes you into who he is. 
and why he is the way he is. And he's had a storied career, whether it's, you know, Ring of Honor, New Japan, or WWE, or now UFC. You know, it's just, it's amazing to see how that all culminated and how he really shouldn't have been as successful as he was in the WWE. You know, he really worked his ass off to get there. So, I think it's a great DVD. It has a good number of matches, and the Blu-ray version does have a lot of special features, like different stories. Uh, it has a whole list of stories. And you do get um, another match as a Blu-ray extra against Rey Mysterio. So, definitely, I, I would just go out and get the Blu-ray, honestly. Alright, so, number three. Number three and number two, I had a hard time at deciding which one to put. But honestly, number three, I would put the Paul Heyman Blu-ray. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. This has an eight-hour runtime, And I'm going to just show you here. I'm going to take out the cover slip. And just show you the content that is on this. Look at that. You have so many just promos, interviews, segments, stories. Uh, you do have a few matches. And the Blu-ray version takes up like two-thirds of the page. That's why you need to go out and get the Blu-ray of this. Of just stories. Um, you do get three matches. Of course, um, with Brock Lesnar, and um, you do have the original Midnight Express versus the new Midnight Express from 89. But you just have promo after promo from the AWA, WCW, ECW, of course, and then the WWE. But the main attraction is the documentary. You know, in my opinion, Paul Heyman is the greatest... Uh, manager of all time, right behind Jim Cornette, and one of the greatest personalities of all time, and a great promoter. He may not have been the best businessman, but he was a great promoter. I mean, he, original ECW was, you know, it's just it feels like home to me. But definitely, highly recommended this one, and takes you into the life of Paul Heyman, really the mind of. You know, it takes you behind the creativity and just who he is. All right, number two, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the bottom line on the most popular superstar of all time. This one did also see a Blu-ray release. Uh, I just got the DVD, which is four discs with a 10-hour runtime. And this one really is deserving of the number two spot. You know, we've had countless Stone Cold DVDs up to this point, but none that really truly captured what we needed as fans. And that's mainly a documentary, like an actual biography. Um, you know, other DVDs kind of teased it, but this one really gave it to you. You can see the content. You have the main feature. And I just did a review of this one. But, you know, the main feature, you have his childhood, his life, um, beginning, you know, getting into wrestling, WCW, and then of course his WWF run, which is incomparable, you know, to anyone I'd consider but Hulk Hogan. I think those are the two most successful wrestlers of all time, in the WWF at least. So, you, you know, it gets into his um, rivalry with Mr. McMahon, of course, you know, his Shawn Michaels match with uh, Mike Tyson. And just, uh, you know, it gets into his later career as well, and it takes you behind the scenes, and really, it does teach you some things that you might not have known. And, you know, you have two match, uh, two discs worth of matches, and then disc four is just all stories and different segments. It's fantastic. Very well done set. Number one that I really have to... I mean, this is kind of a given at this point, but the rise and fall of ECW, this one truly is, in my opinion, the greatest wrestling DVD of all time. And six hour runtime, 2004 release, um, right before the big comeback with uh, One Night Stand. But this documentary 
truly give you the scale of what this covers, I'm just going to show you the first page. That's the documentary. Literally. It is. And, you know, this is really comprised of the documentary. That takes up a big chunk of the runtime. And then you do get a disc full of matches. Uh, it does come with some alternate commentary with Tommy Dreamer and Taz, RVD. But, you know, this goes over... I mean, just look at this. It goes over every great superstar in ECW. Every great personality. It goes over, you know, like Tommy Dreamer, Sandman, Cactus Jack, um, Mikey Whipwreck. It goes into, you know, what Philadelphia means to it and the fans. And it just really gives you everything you need to know about ECW in one documentary. It's amazing. But I can't recommend this one enough, especially for an ECW fan like myself. You know, this and the Paul Heyman DVD, two of the best. And one more quick honorable mention, the Ultimate Ric Flair Collection. Got to have that all, um, honorable mention there. Hopefully I got all the honorable mentions I wanted. I think I did. If not, oh well. But let me know what you guys think. Give me your list down below. And, you know, hopefully this covered what you wanted to see in this list. Um, you know, I worked hard on this list. It took me a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed. For now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.